of the Spotify and today's video, as you read by the title, is going to be tips of making an LPS video. So this is actually going to be in two parts because I have like a lot of tips and stuff that I decided to write down and I know some people have done this in the past and also I've got asked like how to make a good LPS video and stuff like that and all that stuff so I decided that I would do a video like this. I haven't seen a lot of people make videos like this recently, but I did see people make these videos like a few months ago and stuff like that. So I'm a little late to it, but I decided that I would do it now. So yeah, okay, so this could be part one. There should be a part two that should go up hopefully soon. So yeah, anyways, let's get into it. Also, before I get into it, just really quickly, I try to write down some tips that are different from other people's. Some of them are the same, but some of them are ones that would help some people, maybe like me, or some of these might not be able to help you, but there's also other videos that other LPS tubers have done that could help you as well because, you know, all of us have different tips that help us. So hopefully some of these will help you guys if you are struggling to know how to make like a really good LPS video. So yeah, anyways, let's get into the video now. Okay, the first thing you have probably heard a lot of LPS tubers say, lighting. Lighting is very important so you can be able to see the characters, the sets, and just anything that's on the video. Now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without lighting, what it's gonna look like without lighting. So here we go. So this is what it looks like without the lighting. This is just the light that's coming from my fan. As you guys can see, it's like light over here. The LPS is casting a shadow. My hand is casting a shadow and my arm is too. And then it's like all dark over here. So yeah, this is not exactly what you would want the lighting to be like. Because the light that's coming over here is from my fan, as I said, and this is the only light that it's producing. So, yeah. You also want to make sure with lighting that the lighting is not too bright. Because if the lighting is too bright, then it's going to look really weird as well because everything's going to look very, very bright. Tip number two is scripting and note taking. So I'm pretty sure you have heard every LPS tuber say like script your video, script your series, script anything that you're going to be filming. Well, if you're like me and sometimes you get lazy to write like an entire script. So here's like a kind of a solution around it. You can just take notes of the important events that you want to happen. So I'm going to give an example of episode seven of A Murderer's Secrets. So pretty much what I did was I said like I want to do something with Saber's home life because you need to know kind of like how she acts and why she acts the way she does and I had her come home to food all over the floor and her mother passed out on the couch. Saber cleaned it up then she went to her room and she did schoolwork because she had schoolwork to do because they were let off that Friday for the FBI investigation. So she did all of her schoolwork, everything that she had to do, and then she decided to talk to her friends and everything. And then after that, her mother came in, yelled at her, all that stuff. And then after that, I had like a little scene with Dawn trying to figure out who the like, who the killer was because she had a few people that she suspected and she was trying to narrow it down. So sometimes you can use note taking to actually write an entire script if you want to because I know a lot of people have a hard time of trying to like be like, oh, I want to cram this in the episode, but I also want to put this in the episode. And what you can do is sometimes you can take the note taking to help you script. You don't always have to just take important, like you just don't have to take notes of important events. You could actually take the notes of the important events and add them into a script. If you do want to script though, because I know sometimes it is very hard to script, but also you don't have to script videos. You could also just 
come up with it off the, off the top of your head because I have done that with some of my series I, and episodes. I have come up with like ideas on the top of my head and things they were going to say instead of write it down. But if you do want to script your videos, you can. But this can really help you if you need to know what to put in a certain episode so you don't just have to like try to cram everything in because I know a lot of ideas can come to your head about like oh I want to put this in the episode but what about this and it's like you don't want to try to cram too much in an episode but yeah. Tip number three is backgrounds. Okay, so as you look behind me, you see this background that is black with light gray stars. And that's actually craft paper or scrapbooking paper. And usually craft stores have it. I get mine from Joann's and Michael's, but you can get them from any craft store that you have near you. Because I know a lot of places in the world have different craft store names. And they're probably not that much money. Mine actually just cost 99 cents for each, and sometimes craft stores have sales on certain things. So you can get them in different colors, you can get them in different like designs, like different designs on them, like this one. You can get ones that are just like one solid color, ones that are sparkly, ones that are for like Halloween, Christmas, ones that are for like different seasons, like winter, summer, spring. And you can even get ones with like sports on them if that's what you like or you need to use it for somebody's bedroom. The scrap paper works really well for people's bedrooms or well, LPS bedrooms or different things like that. So yeah. Also we're going to go into school scenes. So let's say you need to do a school scene and you need lockers. You can go on YouTube and search up a tutorial how to make LPS lockers. You can search up on YouTube how to make a classroom set up for an LPS. You can look on YouTube and figure out how to make any type of scene that you need. Bedroom scenes, kitchen scenes, anything like that. And they'll probably teach you how to make certain like like a stove, a bed, anything like that. There is so many tutorials on YouTube of how to make different stuff. And I'm already going to tell you guys that sometimes the tutorials are made for dolls because sometimes they don't have just tutorials for LPS. So if they do make one for a doll, you can always try to scale down the size of it for an LPS because I know sometimes there's not a lot of people out there that make tutorials for LPS, they make a lot of tutorials for like dolls, but even if you find one that's for a doll, you can kind of scale it down a little bit for an LPS because as we all know, LPS are smaller than Barbies and Monster Idols. So yeah, but if you ever need to figure out how to make anything, necklaces, anything for an LPS or any backgrounds that you need to make for an LPS series or something, YouTube has tutorials on everything so yeah tip number four is eliminating background noise okay so this one can sometimes be a bit hard if you have a loud family like i do and you try to film and people decide it's a really good time to start like talking very loudly and you can't get anything done so i have like two solutions for you with this one First one is you can try to put music in your videos so that it can eliminate the background noise. I've seen a lot of LPS tubers do this. The only thing I ask of you is if you're going to use background music in your video, please try to scale it so that when you talk, the music isn't kind of like over the characters talking because I've heard a lot of people have like music in their videos and you're trying to hear the characters talk and the music is louder than the characters. If the music is louder than the characters, then there's a problem there because you need to be able to hear what the characters are saying over the music. So all you have to do is kind of try to scale the music to be a little bit lower so that you could hear what the characters are saying or anything that the characters are doing so you can figure out because sometimes you can get confused and it's like, what is the character saying? How are they there? What happened? And you don't know because the music was so loud. The second thing is you can film when nobody is home or film in a quiet space. So 
kind of like where it eliminates background noise. Usually sometimes I film in the daytime because there isn't a lot of people home and I can usually get a lot of things done or you can film at night. I've seen a lot of people do that. Some people film really, really late at night when nobody is awake so that they can get things done. I've done that before as well. I've filmed at like one, two, three in the morning when people are like not awake. So yeah, there's not very much noise, but usually you can either try to find a quiet place to film or you can film when nobody's home because that works very well. I filmed a lot of times when nobody is home and you can get things done very easily and you don't have to worry about somebody screaming or talking very loudly from the other room. So yeah. Tip number five is editing. We all don't really like this part because it can be very time consuming, but it does make ALPS video a lot better without having like all the mess up clips in it and stuff like that. Okay, so you can actually edit in sound effects. I've heard a lot of people edit in sound effects of eating. I've also heard a lot of people edit in sound effects of drinking, toilet flushing, pretty much whatever sound effect you need. I'm pretty sure there is a sound effect on YouTube that you can find, gunshots, any of that. There is plenty of sound effects that you can find on YouTube that you could add into the video. And also there's a lot of good editing systems out there that you can edit videos with, music videos, videos, pretty much whatever you need. There's a lot out there. A lot of people put them in the description of their videos of what they use for like editors and stuff like that. Also, I know it's a very time consuming process, but it makes the video look really good without all the messed up clips. Because if I actually showed you guys all of the messed up clips I have in my videos, the video would be like 20 or 30 minutes long because it would have so many messed up kind of clips in it. Because sometimes when you're filming a series or something, you actually stumble over your words and then you have to redo it. And I've seen some people actually, either they edited or they skipped over that part or they actually accidentally kept it in or maybe they kept it in on purpose. I've seen a lot of people do that as well because sometimes you're trying to talk or sometimes you're trying to say something either with a series or a video and you just mess up and we're all human so we all stutter over our words and stumble over our words and all that stuff. So... Yeah, but it's really good to just go through and edit it. And sometimes it's really good to go through it more than once and edit it just to make sure that you didn't skip over something because sometimes the littlest, tiniest clip that you messed up on, you want to get that out of there so it looks like it's as professionally made as you can because sometimes it's very hard to... Be like, oh, I thought I edited it all out. And then when you look at it, it's like, oh, I didn't edit that part out. So, yeah. Last tip for part one of this video, which is tip number six, is going to be an acting tip that I'm going to give you guys. So, I know a lot of people, when they do LPS series or short films, you kind of need to voice act the character, kind of get into the mindset of how this character works and stuff like that. So let's give an example of Solar from A Murderous Secret. Solar is kind of like this happy character. She is very optimistic. She is kind of shy at times. She will stand up for herself and she will stand up for her friends when she needs to and stuff like that. But for her character, sometimes you have to get into the mindset of how her character works, especially with her past and stuff like that. Like with Ares, Ares is going to have a whole different voice than Solar. And if you're going to voice act a character, you kind of need to get into the emotions of the character. Like with Solar, she was very, very uncomfortable when the guy was trying to hit on her. She did not want to be hit on. She did not want a person to try to flirt with her. She didn't want anything of that. And he was kind of just continuing. And then she had an outburst because she couldn't take the guy continuing and continuing and continuing to try to date her. So 
and that stuff because she said she wasn't interested and he just kept on and kept on. And each character is going to have a different voice. Like if you have seen me voice act Saber, Saber and Solar's voices are two different ones. Solar's voice is a little higher than Saber's voice. And same way with like Arrow. Arrow's voice is a male voice, so it's not going to sound anywhere near a female's voice. His voice is going to be a lot lower than the girl characters. Because if you're going to voice act a girl and a guy character, you're going to have to be able to make your voice go a little bit lower for the guys. Like this, you're going to have to make your voice go a little bit lower. And for girls, you're going to have to make your voice go either a bit higher or kind of like what my voice is now. Kind of if I need to go a little bit higher, I'll go a little bit higher. But yeah, each character is going to have a different voice and a different personality and all that stuff. So sometimes it's good to get into the mindset of the character so you'll be able to play them very good. So yeah, it's kind of like a little acting tip that I wanted to give you guys because I know voice acting can be really, really hard to do and stuff. But usually if you just continue to do practice doing like guy voices and different higher voices and different lower voices then you can probably get it but it's just practice makes perfect i was never good at doing guy voices at first if you looked at any of my old videos you can tell that i couldn't do a guy's voice to save my life but i practiced over time and over time and eventually i got a guy's voice down so this is the end of part one on tips of how to make an LPS video. Part two should be out very, very shortly. I'm going to be filming it hopefully right after this one. And you should be seeing that in hopefully a few days because I was gonna put all the tips in one video, but I realized that the video would probably be like 30, 40 minutes long because I have like 12 tips that I still need to, well, actually I have six tips that I still need to explain to you guys because there's 12 in total but it's probably too much to explain in one video so I decided I'll split it into parts but you should see part two very soon and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video please tell me if you found any of these tips helpful and yeah so also please tell me in the comment section if you have like any other tips to help you because they could help other people as well but these are just some tips i know like all these tips might not help everybody because some people are very very different and some tips help different people and some don't but these are just like the tips that i have but i still have more tips coming as i said this is only a part one but you should be seeing part two in a few days so yeah that's all for this video and i will see you where it was in the next video please don't forget to straight comment and subscribe and yeah so bye werewolves Arr!